Hey there YouTube, Michael here. Uh, today I've got an unboxing and something cool. I'm in a different spot than normal. This was an area that we had recorded a, quite a while back when I was doing some AC duct work underneath the house, putting in some of that flex tube uh, that we had purchased from Lowe's. By the way, I would not recommend that for crawl space use. Anyhow, today we're going to be doing an unboxing of a UFO LED high bay light. It's 160 watts, one pack, so it's going to be one lamp. Hopefully it will transform this space into something that's a lot more bright and a lot more usable for me. My bench under here has really just collected a lot of dust over the years. Since we moved into this house, I needed to replace the fluorescent lights. I didn't want to replace them. The biggest reason if I'm working here and anything flies up and hits these bulbs, the glass is going to fall on me. These bulbs are all full of mercury and all that. The LED light bulbs, they're not. They're a lot safer to use for everything. They use a lot less power. So I wanted to get rid of this hood for quite a while. This company reached out to me, Cineton, and offered uh, for me to do a video in exchange for the product. We're going to be replacing this four bulb fluorescent light system with this 160 watt LED light system. It's all plug and play. If you can see up here, there is some plugs and we're just gonna unplug this lamp. We're gonna unhook it. We're gonna unbox this lamp uh, this LED high bay light. We're going to plug it in place and we're going to see how this workspace looks. My workspace has been more of a storage space for quite a while because when I do get under, this is actually a walk-in crawl space. It's not a garage, but it's, you know, tall enough for me to do anything I wanted. But my workbench has just become storage because it's too dark. I never do anything under here. I end up taking everything outside and I work on things outside. Then I just towed it all back in, which is kind of a pain in the butt. I really want to start using this area for more things that I'm going to be doing. The stuff that I would be doing outside in the yard where the sun's at, the weather's at here, it's at least a little bit more weather controlled. It's almost always cool here because I'm in a uh, crawl space. But let's go ahead and unbox this LED high bay light, see what it looks like under here. High bay light makes me a little bit worried that having it right here at head level, maybe it's going to be too bright. We'll find out though. Anyhow, let's go ahead and get this unboxed. So as you can see, this is the lighting system here. Nothing else in the box. Why is it so bright under here right now? I actually have two, two lights, two big bright LED lights to help me see under here while I make this video. And I've got a little other light right up here. So we've got the instructions. On the instructions, you just plug it in, you hang it, and that's it. Something really simple. This has a fancy little hook. We'll find out when I take this light down if there's actually any hooks up here for me to hang the light from. But let's get a good look at this. It's not heavy, a couple pounds. The cord's pretty long. Oh, we've got the hook for the hardware. That was all that's in this box. Hook. But here is the light. Got a safety cable so that way, uh, I assume that if it comes unhooked, this cable's going to make sure that the device doesn't fall on your head, hopefully. Now for taking down the fluorescent lights. Like I said earlier, this is all plug and play stuff. So I'm gonna find out which cable goes to which, which that appears to be it. So just unplug that. And that, my friends, is it. <clears throat> oh, much better. And that's it. The old hood is down. I'm going to put this somewhere where it's not going to fall and hurt me. Voila. That didn't take very long. That wasn't too hard. 
I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of some of these spider webs real quick. Got the hook screwed in. A nail that was already in a hook shape here. I'm gonna go ahead and take this cable just because it will provide some kind of safety. I will actually wanna hook it to another. All right, right here is a nail that's got a large head on it. So it's something that I think that will help hold that cable in place. I just don't need all this slack coming down on me, you know? Excellent. All right, you say, Michael, let's go ahead and plug this thing in and see what we're working with, right? Same here. Okay, guys, that is bright. This is going to be all the shop light that I will need. Uh, the only thing it is extremely bright right over my eyes, so I probably will find another spot for it. But that's awesome. I mean, it definitely washes me out. It's enough. It puts out some heat. I am going to position it in a better spot though. All right, my workbench, the entire area that I'll be using is well lit now, plenty of light. It does light up the rest of this area fairly well. I'm gonna go ahead and shut off these lights. Wow, I'm now dark. You can clearly see that the workspace is definitely lit up. I think I'm happy with this light. This is the Cineton UFO LED high bay light, 160 watts, one pack. Tell me what you guys think. The workspace area is definitely lit up. You'll be able to do anything. It lights from both sides of my work desk. Should this be probably mounted to a high bay? Absolutely, it should. For my application, I think it's gonna work out just perfect though. You guys just saw how easy this was. If your old lamp system has a plug in it and it's not hardwired in, this process is fairly simple. You unplug it, you plug the new lamp in. It comes with a hook. You'll need to provide a bracket for yourself if you want to bracket it up to uh, your rafter or whatever your device is going to be that's going to hold it. You'll use that. I've just used a nail that was bent, which is plenty enough to hold it. I don't intend on hitting this lamp very often. If it were to come unhooked or the bracket were to come out, you do have this cable device as a secondary catch that would allow the lamp to, to be caught before actually crashing down to the ground. This was simple. It took just a couple of minutes to install. I think it'll be fantastic. It'll be a fantastic option for uh, anybody who's using these lights. I would like to have multiple. So I have this one here off to this side. I have another one of these hood lights that I was hoping to get replaced at the same time. But unfortunately, the second lamp didn't come with this. They were supposed to come together. Um, but hopefully soon, I'll have a second lamp over there, which will light up this space here. If you can see off to the corner, it's really just where we keep all of our bicycles at. And it, it doesn't need to be lit up so much. Really, what I wanted to lit up was my workbench area. I would definitely like to thank them for uh, sending me this lamp, giving, um, giving me the opportunity to do a review video of it, or at least an unboxing and install video. I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope this lamp is going to be something that's going to work out for you. Thanks for watching, guys. Ciao.